Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use HTML unit driver in Selenium Java. So I have imported org open QA Selenium and org open QA Selenium HTML unit, HTML unit driver. Okay. So let's create instance of HTML driver, driver equals to new HTML unit driver so once you create that instance you can simply call get method now after that we will go to google.com http google.com and then system dot out dot println and then we will find the title okay simply go to driver dot get title now the thing about HTML unit driver is it is headless browser so you don't see any browser window open and all you have to do is you have to check the console for the output that you want for test for example, we are printing title of page here. So you will find that there is no window that will be open. Only the title will be printed here. Or if you have any other test, then the result of the test will be printed on console, depending on how you handle it. But you won't be able to see any instance of this driver making window. Okay same is the case with phantom js casper js and few other headless browser testing systems so let's run the project okay so it executed our code and it shows title of page google you can go ahead and run multiple tests and you will quickly find the results just run the code Okay, so you see title of page Wikipedia now. Okay, so now we know how to create instance of HTML unit driver and how to get title of page. You can also go for source code and you can also verify some of the other web, web page elements like you do with Firefox or Chrome. So when you are gonna use HTML unit driver is when you have some specific requirement where you just have to test particular web elements without having to worry about what is on the UI side. So those tests will be faster with headless browsers like PhantomJS and HTML unit driver.